So frame relay map IP 192.168.1.1 and then we're going to tell router 2 what the local DLC is to reach uh, that IP address. And we have the local DLC here is 201. Okay, so that should be it. So now if I do a show frame relay map on router 2, you can see here now that I have statically configured uh, the map to router 1, which is 192.168.1.1. So I've, I have statically created that layer 2 to layer 3 uh, mapping. So I'm connecting to this IP address via this layer 2 delsi and as you can see here that's a static mapping so if i go ahead and try to ping it now 192.168.1.1 i am successful so now that router 2 has been configured what i want to do now is go into router 3 and configure router 3 with the static frame relay map. So again, I'm going to go under interface serial 10, and I'll specify here first encapsulation frame relay. And then I'm going to specify my map statement. So I'm going to map IP 192.168.1.1, which is router 1's IP address via the local delsi here of 301. If I can verify my map statement if I just do a show frame relay map and you can see here it says administratively down that's because what I forgot to do is I forgot to enable the serial 10 interface And you can see here the state is inactive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to interface serial one zero. And I'm going to specify under here, no shut. Now you see it change the state up. Now if I go back and do a show frame relay map, you can see here now that it doesn't say administratively down. It says up. Also now it says inactive. If I were to do a show frame relay map now, you can see it still says inactive. Now if I were to ping router 1, which is 1.168.1.1, It says unrecognized host or address or protocol not running. So what looks like I've done, if I do a show run interface 010, I think I, yeah, I didn't configure an IP address. So whenever you get this command here, unrecognized host or address or protocol not running, just verify that you have uh, a configured IP address on your router, which in this case I have not. So I'm going to go back to 010 and do give myself my IP address which is 192.168.1.3 with slash 24 subnet mask and now I should be able to uh, to look here at the frame relay map and you can see now that it is active because I have configured my layer 3 address on the router Okay, so now if I go ahead and try to ping from router 3 to router 1, uh, you can see now that I, I was able to ping router 1. So now if I go back to router 1, 
you can see if I try to ping my my if I'm, I'm on the hub now if I try to ping this post which is uh, say in this case is router 2 I, I'm able to ping router 2 which is 1.2 and if I try to ping 1.3 which is router 3 I can do that okay so from router 1 it looks like we have full uh, IP reachability However, if I were to go to router 2 now, say I want to try to ping 192.168.1.3, uh, which is router 3, uh, do you think I'm going to be successful? Uh, no, I am not. As you can see here, if I were to do a debug on a frame relay packet, it's going to give us some good tips on the why we are not successful. Again, if I try to ping router 3 here, you can see here with the debug frame relay packet, uh, I received the following configuration uh, that says that the serial one zero, the encapsulation failed. Okay, whenever you see a statement like this, usually in a debug um, that is pointing towards encapsulation failure, uh, usually you know that's your um, I mean specifies there that you have a layer two uh, problem. And as you can see, if I were to do a show frame relay map. Right now, I only know how to get to router one, which is 192.168.1.1 via the static frame relay map that we put in there. So what I need to do now to have full IP reachability is I need to go under both router two and router three and configure a frame relay map in between router two and router three. And I do this by going under the same interface, 010, and I'm going to do frame relay map IP. And then here I'm going to specify 192, 168, and then 1.3, which is router 3. And the DELC that I'm going to be using to reach router 3, which is the local DELC of 201. Okay, now if I do a show frame relay map on router 2 